So I did a video yesterday and Nomad Sculpt 1.85 is out and one of the big additions to it is Quadrimesher. So that's an, a, an additional plugin that we've got now for Nomad from Exercide who made Zeremesher and um, the Quadrimesher for Blender. And we've got it now in Nomad for a $15 fee, which is very, very reasonable. So let me show you some of the extra bits that are inside Quadrimesher. And this particular video is just about curves. So we want to use curves, so I want to take this model and I want to um, basically do a, a, a new uh, set of topology for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn matte cap on. I'm going to turn all post-processing off because it's very annoying. Um, and then basically what we'll do is we'll bring up the, um, the a nice matte cap that we can use. We'll flood fill it. We don't need any of that detail in there. I don't need any of the painting um, and then pick something so that you can really see what I'm doing like so. So um, we're only going to focus on the head. So I'm going to hide um, the teeth and the eyes and that gives us maybe that's not quite the right um, matte cap to show you. I'm just trying to find one that makes it really clear on the screen. So there you go. That that, that will do for us. So now what we want to do is give this a um, a, a remesh. But before we do it, so what we could do is we go up to quad remesh, we'll say 10,000 um, and we'll we'll leave face groups on or off, doesn't matter. In this case, we've not got any face groups. Um, and what we'll do is we'll say remesh. So we'll say hit the button and it will remesh. And there you go, it's given us a nice low poly, put the wireframe on, you can see what we've got. Now, what you can do is you can guide some of these loops a bit more in two different ways. And this video is the first. I'm just going to cover what's called curves. So before you do the quad remesh, if you go back one, so I'll just do an undo and we're back to the high res now. Turn the wireframe off. And if you look on this side here, you've got curves. Um, you've got curves and dots. Now, now, Dots is painting. We'll cover that in the next video. Curves are curves like you would be used to in a lot of other programs. So let me just hide this panel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have symmetry on and we're going to tell it to guide a little bit better in some places. So certain areas I want to guide like that. Now that's an open loop, but if you're going to do a loop around anything, you hit closed here. So you can see there, that will give you a loop around that nose. So that would suggest that you want to try and keep that shape in the topology. So you're not retopologizing here, you're guiding. It's exactly the same functionally as um, Z remesher guides in ZBrush. Um, around there, you can't do uh, symmetry. So you'd take closed off and just show a guide like that, something like that. Um, around the eye, the important one, you would want quite a few. Um, and again, it, 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 you can do it closed or open. Uh, do it closed here, like so. And you're just asking it to roughly follow the guides. You can throw a few additional ones in like that, or you could do it like uh, completely open and just suggest it and just leave it like that. Now, you, what I do tend to do is just try and indicate where I want the flow. Doesn't always work. And sometimes I cross it as well. So sometimes I'll do this to indicate where I want this flow to go. And in Z Remesher, in ZBrush, that works really, really well. So I've had mixed results with this. So um, we'll, what we'll do is we'll do this now and we'll, 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 we'll see how it works. So we'll do a closed one here and see what we get. Uh, a lot of this is trial and error. So what I'm doing here might be very different, you know, th 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 than what you're going to get. So it's about finding your process with this. Now you know that the tool is there. So once you've done that, you can set some settings. So symmetry on. Yes, please. You want target quads. We already know what, we, you know, we've set it at 10,000. Um, we want adaptive quad count on, yeah, and we want adaptive size. So if you tap the question mark there, it says 100% the quad size will vary depending on the object's curvature. So that's useful because it's taking into account how things, uh, the curvature of, of the model. And let's just do it and see what we get and see if it's any use. So, and then we just hit um, uh, remesh and say yes. 
Okay, so let's see what we've got. So put the wireframe on and you'll see there it's done a fairly good job around the nose. It's definitely followed these suggested lines. It's definitely followed these suggested lines. Definitely given me the loop around the mouth. Definitely followed the, 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 the core lines here. And it's not done too bad of a job with the eye as well. Now, what you can do is you can combine this with um, this, which is dot, which I'm going to show you in the next video. So this is where we can paint to add more detail. So the power in this would be doing your curves with your density painting, but that's another video. So go and have a go of it. Hopefully you'll get, you understand this. Remember the key points, you're not retopologizing, you're guiding. So this is a suggested way to, to, to do it. Uh, we've got reprojection video coming, a reprojection video coming, and obviously go back and watch the first video on 1.85 because that will give you the basics of this if you don't know it. And all of those links are down below or up above. Have a great week, everyone. I hope you're really enjoying this new 1.85 update. Lots to, to feature in there. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to like the video.